fashion game. These were things we were wearing in our videos, and it just showed the power of how we were able to take music and the authenticity of what was being done in the streets. P. Diddy is an American rapper, a record producer, an actor, and more. There's a lot of legal troubles headed his way, but it didn't stop him from building an entertainment empire in the 90s and onwards. With that empire also came his investing in some jaw-dropping properties, such as his Los Angeles mansion, Florida estate, and more. Diddy's passion for music ignited during his time at Howard University, where he pursued a business major. However, his entrepreneurial drive prompted him to depart from college after two years to embark on a career in the music industry. His real name is Sean Combs and he was born and raised in Harlem, New York City. He experienced the tragic loss of his father at the age of three. Following this, his family relocated to Mount Vernon, New York nine years later. There he attended prep school and earned the nickname Puff due to his habit of puffing up his chest during football practice. Although Combs initially pursued a higher education at Howard University in Washington, he left after two years to be a party promoter, background dancer, and a label intern. P. Diddy made his initial mark as a talent director at Uptown Records before venturing out to establish his own record label, Bad Boy Records, in 1993. Under Bad Boy Records, he nurtured and propelled the careers of notable artists like The Notorious B.I.G., Mary J. Blige, and Usher. His debut album, No Way Out, released in 97, achieved immense success, earning a seven-time platinum certification. He continued to release hit albums throughout the 90s and the 2000s, contributing to the evolution of rap and hip-hop. At the start of his fame, his first appearance as a backup dancer was in the music video of What You Need with Stacey Ladisaw. He posted on his Instagram how he appreciated his career during that time while still aiming for something bigger. As his party seemed to attract almost a thousand guests, Diddy was banging the life of a great promoter, adding his label internship in Uptown Records remarkably. Within a year, he rose to the position of vice president. He really did a great job making an impression on a lot of celebrities during the 90s. Another way of making an announcement is to throw a party. At least that's what he did when he arrived in the Tony Enclave of East Hampton. It was a white party, Labor Day, and what Diddy did was he organized a series of summer white parties. This tradition later extended to St. Tropez and Beverly Hills. Even Paris Hilton said, I remember the first party he threw in the Hamptons. It was iconic and everyone was there. Hilton was impressed with Diddy on how he handled a thousand party guests. He was compared to a modern day Gatsby with a successful fully imposed white dress code. Beyond music, Diddy showcased his entrepreneurial skills by founding the clothing retailer Sean John in 1998, which became a prominent fashion brand. His involvement with Ciroc Vodka as a brand ambassador since 2007 and the creation of Revolt, a TV network and news website, further demonstrated his versatility and influence in a handful of industries. P. Diddy's portfolio extends to significant real estate across the US, from Beverly Hills to New York York City and Miami Star Island, he's acquired and sold several homes, each with luxury and most with breathtaking views. Diddy's purchase of Gloria Estefan's former mansion in Star Island, Miami for a whopping $35 million marked a huge addition to his real estate portfolio. Situated on 1.3 acres of prime land, this sprawling estate boasts an impressive 8,000 square feet of living space, reflecting Diddy's flamboyant and extravagant lifestyle. Upon arrival, guests are greeted by a pristine white exterior, architectural masterpiece full of elegance awaits. The property is adorned with lush palm trees in the central court and surrounded by greenery, creating an enchanting vibe. Step inside and the opulence continues with a white themed decor scheme that complements the natural light and water views. Upgraded hardwood and marble floors are seen throughout, elevating the interior to a level befitting a music mogul of Diddy's stature. The mansion features six bedrooms and ten baths, ideal for a celeb who frequently hosts large parties. One of the living rooms is set up with built-in ceiling lights, a broad white fireplace, arched doorways, and large windows that welcome ample light. 
Up on the second floor loft, there are individual terraces in nearly every room, which offer breathtaking views of the surrounding water. Not to mention, rumors suggest that Diddy plans to merge this mansion with the adjacent estate he acquired in 2003, creating a mega estate. It rivals the grandeur of iconic properties we often see in Hollywood. Moving over to Los Angeles, Diddy's former Beverly Hills mansion here is a modern three-floor estate where he lived from 2008 to 2013. This home is made up of five beds and six baths, meticulously designed with sleek glass exteriors and contemporary white walls. The newly renovated home boasts top-notch appliances, a grand foyer leading to the impressive primary suite, and panoramic views showing off the Pacific Ocean and downtown LA. The marble bathroom, complete with dual vanities, showers, and a tub overlooking epic views, is comparable to a five-star spa. The kitchen has stainless steel appliances and a marble island, and this space seamlessly connects to an open floor plan dining area and entertainer's bar, perfect for hosting grand get-togethers. The lower level features additional bedrooms and a relaxing living room with fireplace leading to a backyard oasis. Here, an infinity pool, sunken spa, and barbecue station set the stage for outdoor entertainment in true Hollywood style. Positioned as the crown jewel of Beverly Crest, this mansion is only moments away from Sunset Boulevard and the iconic Beverly Hills Hotel. Aside from that LA home, Diddy has also successfully sold his classic style residence in Toluca Lake for $6.51 million dollars, marking one of the highest priced transactions in this neighborhood in 2022. Public records indicate that the Grammy-winning artist purchased this property for $5.25 million back in 2009, and he was seeking a buyer for $7 million since October of last year. Built in 2006, this impressive home spans close to 10,000 square feet, although it's not his largest property in Southern California. That award goes to a 13,000 square foot estate in Holmby Hills that Diddy bought for $39 million in 2014. This gated half acre estate boasts well utilized space with a swimming pool, motor court, basketball court, and expansive lawns surrounding the L-shaped residence. Its exterior is adorned with columns and shutters leading to a grand two-story foyer with checkered floors and a majestic staircase. Inside this mega home, there are six beds, 6.5 baths, a media room, a spacious kitchen, and an elegant formal living room with elaborate stone fireplace. French doors open to a backyard featuring a trellis covered patio complete with its own fireplace. If you thought that was all, Diddy further owns properties on the East Coast too. His three bedroom apartment in New York's Park Imperial area is full of urban luxury. Spread across 2,300 square feet, this residence offers stunning city views, high ceilings, wooden floors, and a contemporary design aesthetic that gives a vibe of modern living. Then, located just blocks away from Central Park, his Midtown West condo spans roughly 3,000 square feet, featuring three bedrooms and three bathrooms. This residence in the building known as the Park Imperial. This residence marries spaciousness with prime location, catering to Diddy's taste for luxury in the heart of Manhattan. Throughout his long running career, Sean Combs or P. Diddy has received acclaim winning three Grammy Awards, two MTV Video Music Awards, and being recognized for his contributions to the fashion industry. His net worth, estimated at $1 billion by Forbes in 2022, shows his position as one of the wealthiest and most influential figures in entertainment. Diddy's houses aren't just residences, they're grand estates that reflect his taste for the finer things in life. From Miami Star Island to Beverly Hills and New York City, each property shows modernity and exclusivity. Well, that brings our house tour to a close. Answer this question for me before you head out. Knowing the insane prices for real estate in New York City, even if you were super rich, would you invest such large amounts of money for a home there? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye!